Today we're going to learn a couple of techniques. First of all, we're going to learn how to spatchcock a chicken. You don't get nervous, it's not as hard as it sounds. It's an old English term that literally means split chicken. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the backbone out of this chicken. We're going to lay it flat and press it down. What that's going to do is that's going to cut about an hour off of our grilling time. And it's going to get a lot more even smoky flavor throughout the chicken than you would get if you were trying to grill the chicken whole. Okay, so let's start with spatchcocking the chicken. What you're going to want to do is we're going to want to flip her over here so we can see the backbone. We're going to move our weapons of mass destruction here real quick. And we're going to grab our kitchen shears. Now, in my opinion, kitchen shears and a good pair of tongs are the two things I can't live without in my kitchen. I can cook a lot of things with just those two implements. This is one of them. So we take our chicken, and you just start cutting right up the backbone. And it takes a pretty good cut. If you have a good pair of shears, it shouldn't be a big problem. You're going to ah, cut that right through there, right through this side. And see, we've cut that right through. Now we're going to do the second side. Cut right along that backbone. It takes a few good cuts. Cut it right out, lift that backbone out, cut that off, and you can see we've cut the backbone out. Now we're going to flip it on over, just like this, so it's breast side up. We're just going to put, again, the heel of our hand, we're going to put it on there, and we're going to push until we hear that backbone crack, just like that. Now it's nice, you can see it's nice and flat, nice and spread out, and it's going to cook very evenly on the grill like this. Okay, so now we've spatchcocked our chicken. The next step is we want to go ahead and do an injection. We've got an injector for that, and we're going to inject uh, a marinade directly into the chicken. And there's a couple of reasons that I like using an injection better than soaking in a marinade. Uh, the first is that I, I think it gets the flavor of your, of your marinade down deeper into the meat, down into the muscle of the, of the chicken. And the second reason is when you soak something, specifically chicken with skin, it's gonna, that skin's going to get very saturated with the moisture, and it's going to have a hard time crisping up in the barbecue or, or when you're roasting it in the oven. When you do an injection, you skip that step, you're going to get that beautiful, golden, crispy skin that you're looking for. Okay, now we're going to work on our injection. For that, we're just going to mix up a few simple ingredients. I've got about a cup of apple juice, a little bit of this buffalo-style Tabasco sauce. You can use whatever flavor you like. This is my favorite and a couple of tablespoons of this uh, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, to that, we're going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. We're going to mix that up real good, just like that. We're going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of butter, and we're going to pop this in the microwave for just a couple of minutes to get it warm. Then we're going to let it cool again before we do our injection. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick little trick here, just as an aside. I've gone ahead and microwaved this for about a minute and a half just to get that butter melted. We're going to go ahead and give it a stir here, but I don't want to inject that hot uh, injection into my chicken because I don't want to start it cooking. So, and, but I also don't want to wait 20 or 30 minutes for it to cool off. So here's a quick little kitchen trick here. What we're going to do is we're going to take some ice, and we're just going to pour a few ice cubes down in there. And it's not going to water it down too much, but what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to cool that off real quick so that we can use our injection right away. If you're smarter than me, you think in advance, you make it earlier. I waited until the last minute, so I need to cool it down real quick. Okay, so our chicken is spatchcocked. Our injection marinade is ready to go. We're going to take our handy-dandy injector. We're just going to put it in here. You can get these injectors at most barbecue shops or online for anywhere from 5 bucks to 50 bucks, depending on how fancy you want it. This one's actually pretty fancy, but it was a gift to me from one of my other hotmeals.com guys, so it didn't cost me anything, so I use it. So, what you want to do is fill that up to uh, about halfway, two-thirds. Um, you're, uh, you're going to go ahead and inject right into that chicken breast, about a third. And then you're going to come down and you're going to put it in again, about another third. Let's hold that up so you can see it. And you're going to come down here and give it about another third. What you want to do is you want to get about halfway down into the muscle. You don't want to push all the way through because you don't want to be, have it coming out the bottom. But you want to push about halfway down so that'll get there nice in the middle and just spread around through that muscle meat really nicely. Okay, and so we're going to refill our syringe a little bit here. And so we did three on each side of the breast. Now uh, you want to put at least one more into that thigh. And you'll see it plump up a little. You'll know you're doing it right. You'll see it plump up. You don't want that spraying all back out because obviously you're not getting any into the meat then. But you'll do one in each thigh, and then I like to put one little squirt down in each leg. Okay, so our chicken is spatchcocked, it's been injected, we've let it rest for 20 to 40 minutes, somewhere in there, for that marinade to really get down into the meat. Okay, so your chicken's ready to cook. You can either roast it in the oven, you can go ahead and cook it on the grill. If you... 
You're going to want to cook your chicken over medium-high indirect heat with the cover on for about an hour or until the internal temperature reaches 175 degrees in the thigh. Go ahead and remove it from the grill, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then carve it up. Thanks for stopping by Grilling His Happiness. See you next time.